Wait. Oh yeah, like the end of the world, the zombie apocalypse, the dang old Tesla, the electric cars. Listen, are you gonna be storing like thousands of gallons of gas on your property? Cause do some research about how long gas will last. And then in some sort of government problem or some sort of zombie apocalypse, or some sort of thing. You think the gas stations are gonna be just open and this you think some kind of government takeover or political unrest that you think the gas car is the way for you to go. Listen, Tesla roof, okay? I'm not saying the solar panels, I'm saying the Tesla roof and your power walls, battery storage, storing energy is the way to go. You've got a nuclear reactor that shows up every day. It's called the sun, it shows up for free. That's the way to go for your bug out place. It's not gonna be gas cars. Like your ultimate zombie apocalypse vehicle is a Tesla and your solar roof and your battery storage. Also, all of this government, uh, oh, save energy, turn your electric bill down, we've got to conserve and, and power surges and blackouts. Get rid of all of that. Have your Tesla roof and your battery storage power wall. Now you're charging your car for free. You've eliminated head gaskets and timing belts and radiators cracking and transmission slipping and spark plugs and catalytic converters and exhaust pipes. And I got news for you. If you think that a gas car is the way to go, okay, you're going to get a whole bunch of tankers Semi, what, are you going to get a bunch of tanks and save up all this gas? The best way to go. Now, I don't own a home yet, and I don't have the Tesla roof, but I'm telling you, if you, Mr. You know, Mr. and Mrs. Uh, wealthy white redneck, going like, oh, stupid electric car. I got news for you. The bug out car is a Tesla with solar, with, with having solar roof on your house. That's the plan. You what are you going to do? Store up all this gas? What are you going to do? You think that the gas stations are going to be pumping gas for you? You're going to save thousands. How long before it goes bad? How long before it coagulates and gels up? Gas is not the way to go. It's going to be a Tesla and you're going to have a solar situation and battery storage, storing the electricity. The sun shows up for free every day. That's the zombie apocalypse car situation, energy situation. That's the political unrest situation. Stop talking to me about how electric cars, when the, when the floods happened in Florida, they weren't able to go get gas at the gas stations. It was people charging at home on their solar roofs that are independent from the energy companies, from, from the grid and they were driving through the water <laughs> in their Teslas, but the gas cars are not. Listen, it, I'm so sick of hearing this. When the zombie apocalypse happened, you want the Tesla roof, solar roof, battery storage, power walls, and a Tesla car. That's gonna be your freedom. That's gonna be your political rest bug out car. That's gonna be your zombie apocalypse get out situation. It's not gonna be storing and hauling around thousands of gallon of gas. If you store it for more than six months, chances are it'll go bad. If you store it for years, it's gonna coagulate. If you depend on gas stations, you're more of a fool than thinking you could charge an electric car. This isn't the zombies, or the fact that they have unlimited ammo, it's that they keep on driving their vehicles around years after the apocalypse happens. Gasoline only lasts about 6 to 12 months in a sealed container, so in a real zombie apocalypse, all the vehicles become pretty worthless really fast. A proper apocalypse vehicle would be all electric, get its energy from the sun, and be a beast off-road. Which is why today, we're going to turn this old-school military Humvee into an electric vehicle. Let's get started.